What's up everybody, Raul back with another video. Today I'm gonna to take you through the breakdown of Halloween decorations. What it looks like after everything's been pulled off. And if you guys didn't watch my last video, we did get first place for Montebello's scariest lawn. Yeah. That's awesome, right? Thank you to everybody in Montebello for the support coming by, saying hi, all the friends and family. It was a cool little day, right? Yeah. We didn't get that many trick-or-treaters, but we are left with a lot of candy. Um, but it was eat a good to yeah. eat. But it was a good turnout. So with that being said, let's get to the video of me showing you what it looks like completely disassembled and what we have to work with with putting everything away. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? Actually, you can say What's up everybody? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's alright. We are going to show you today what it looks like. <laughs> that was good. I like it because it's going to be a funny video. <laughs> We're going to show you today. That's how I feel Isaiah talking in front of the camera. It's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> You're like, don't you feel silly talking to a camera? Yeah. So, alright everybody. Let the car go by. Okay, this is what it looks like, everybody. When you go all out for Halloween, and this is just Halloween. We go all out for Christmas, and we have a ton of Christmas stuff, but like I said, we built a lot of this stuff. A lot of this wood stuff, like I said, was built from free wood that we found in the alleys. Everybody throwing stuff away. So basically we repurposed this wood. That was the, goal for Halloween is to see what we can build with the wood we found to clean up the community and help out Montebello to keep it a little bit cleaner. Right Miho? Yep, so see. it was a win-win. Not only did we clean up but we also put on a show for everybody and we ended up winning First place, Scariest House of Montebello. I will take that title anytime because it is hard to pull off a scary house everybody. So this is everything we have a lot of new additions for halloween we don't normally go all out for halloween because we're always trick-or-treating with the kids and stuff we do put out little simple decorations here and there i'm gonna just walk around show you what's here after and talk to you but we put out a little bit of decorations for halloween but this year because of covid we decided you know what let's give the Montebello community you know something to come and enjoy because of the hard times everybody faced this year so we decided let's go all out we did it and everybody loved it we didn't have that many trick-or-treaters I think maybe less than a hundred people came uh, we did have three big bags of candy we actually went to go buy more because we thought that wasn't gonna be enough because it really gets packed over here but we ended up with no, we ended up with a lot of candy left. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah, no, we were already past that. Uh, we ended up with a lot of bags of candy. Well, two bags, I think, right? No, a bag and a half left, right? So, yeah. yeah, we ended up with a bag and a half of candy left. So now we're stuck eating it, and we're going to be the sweet tooth clown. But yeah, everybody, look at this. This is what my lawn looks like after Halloween. We're going to mow it edge it blow it clean it so we're gonna rest a few weeks we are going to feed the lawn we're gonna push the lawn cut it frequently we're gonna bring it back get it green and then what's next Isaiah Christmas decoration yeah. we're gonna start doing Christmas decorations in about how many weeks? Three weeks that's right three weeks everybody we're gonna start setting everything back up put the fence back start putting the garland on and everything that'll be a whole nother video but yeah I mean these are the only decorations that are staying because I gotta mow these out but yeah everybody there it is I'll put up a picture right here of what the house looked like with the decorations and then this is what it looks like after with everything that we now have to put away and what I did here was separate everything in categories, so lighting, signage, uh, costumes, pumpkins, accessories, dolls, open flesh, 
Um, we got like accessory clothing here, skeletons, tombstones, signage and wood here, spider stuff. Then we got fencing. This is the one I don't know really where I'm gonna put. Figure it out. This will go against the wall. So yeah, everybody. And then we got this over here that I made. This is that burning flesh thing with the lighting on the bottom. This was a big hit. Everybody liked that. That was cool. Ticket booth was a big hit. That was a photo piece for a lot of people around here taking pictures there. But yeah, it's pretty cool, everybody. All right, everybody. So with that being said, I want to close this video. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, I just want to thank all the voters out there watching. Uh, thank us. Thank you for supporting. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't. And comment. And like. And, and like. <laughs> and like. I can subscribe again. <laughs> I can subscribe. That's good, Mio. So thank you, everybody, once again um, for cheering us on and hoping that we would win. Crossing your fingers. Thank you for all the family and friends that stopped by, visited us and all the trick-or-treaters that came by you know we had a lot of good conversations and a lot of people asking questions how we did it so that was pretty awesome uh if you see anything on my lawn that I looked hand built feel free to check out my diy videos they're a little long but they're detailed and yeah everybody that's going to complete this video let's make it nice and short and with that thank you again to everybody on montebello thank you for everybody that's watched our videos Feel free to check out any of my other videos for Halloween and stay tuned for Christmas. But we got a lot of stuff to put away, right? Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace. What's up, everybody? So now that everything is pretty much put away, waiting for a few boxes. Before it gets dark, I want to show you guys what the lawn looks like up close after the decorations have been taken off you'll see where there's a lot of browning from like the body bags the foam props stuff where stuff currently was right here the jack-in-the-box was covering all this that didn't do too much damage uh, this was where the body bag was another body bag over there I feel something by my foot. Cat poop. This is where the pallet was that I made of the basement. This was where I was able to cut along the fence still. So yeah, I didn't have too much grass creeping in to the beds. You can see mulch there because of the, still having issues with the cats and a lot of stuff coming here. Those little sensor things didn't work yeah everybody and if you look and you pay attention closely you'll see that I haven't cut the lawn and maybe some of you may know what I'm about to say there are no weeds please daddy's recording my love don't be mean don't be rude Janet please so you see that everybody there's no weeds in the lawn look at that so the spectracide weed stop for lawns I'm telling you it works I haven't cut this at all and there's no weeds and I haven't pulled out anything either see that it's exactly why I wanted to show you guys this is newly seeded it's, uh, probably what four months or four and a half maybe a little bit more I'll put up on the screen how long it's been since I did the seeding this is Arden 15 Bermuda let's take a look at the parkway strip I cut it uh, I think it was the day before Halloween so I'm gonna take try to take this down a little bit more I did do it at its lowest setting so let's see if I can take some of this off but no weeds here either I had one that I seen and that was over here where I did the leveling. I think I had two. I hand pulled those out, but I haven't seen anything yet and I still don't see anything coming up. And yeah, I didn't really put too much of the weed stop for lawns here because I was trying to get the grass to establish and push through and I didn't want to um, 
stress it out or anything at all which it probably won't but I just want to be safe look look at that there's one little weed right here a little broadleaf weed just pull it out that's it it's gone I'm gonna mow so let's suck that up but yeah nothing any it's looking good all right everybody we're gonna get to the edging mowing cleaning this up do some treatments to the lawn get it pushing before we decorate for Christmas in a few weeks there we go it's all mowed edged blowed cleaned up scalped down we are in November 1st and it's 437 let me just walk you through real quick What we're working with here. Took it all down except for back there. See that everybody. So we got three weeks, three and a half weeks until we put up Christmas decorations. We are in the cooler temps now, but I'm still gonna push this. We're in California. Check out this section. All brown. All right, everybody. So that's what we're working with right now. November 1st, the day after Halloween. And after we took down all the decorations. This is what it looked like with all the decorations, everybody, just in case. Yep. This is what it looked like after we took down all the decorations. And then this is now what it looks like, what you're looking at right now. With everything off and cut down. Alright everybody, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.